So here's how to get rid of your skinny legs. Well, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually start training them. I know some of you don't, so don't look at me like that. Two times a week is ideal and will get you the most results, just like following me will. The second thing you wanna do is focus on the heavy compound lifts, squats, hex squat, lunges, etc. These will give you the most bang for your buck because they really allow you to overload and push yourself. When it comes to isolation work, you're gonna wanna put most of your effort into your hamstrings. The squats and the lunges do work your quads but they don't really work your hamstrings specifically. Such a shame. So I personally like to start off with a hamstring curl because this allows me to train my hamstrings first so then I can't skip it or I still have the energy to do so. And training my hamstrings doesn't take anything away from doing my heavy squats, etc. And as a nice bonus, it also makes your knees feel better. An important thing to point out is that training your legs is also a very mental thing. It hurts a lot more than training your arms, for example. So you really need to flip the switch in order to really push yourself on leg days because it is a lot harder. And of course, you cannot be skipping calves even though the stubborn bastards never grow anyway. I personally always do them at the end of my workout because I find that if I do them at the start, my ankle mobility suffers and my squats don't feel as well as they could. When doing these, I tend to really focus on training to failure because your calves are tough bastards to grow. So you really need to push here. I tend to do about three sets till failure on my calves and then I might add like two drop sets at the end. So when it comes to fully developing a muscle, I can't forget to mention that your mind-muscle connection is very important here. So focus on using the right muscles that you want to use so when doing a leg extension for example make sure to squeeze up by using your quads not just push through the movement the same goes for your hip thrust the same goes for your lunges the same goes for any movement basically make sure you're using the right muscles that you want to use so if you need to go a little bit lighter on the weights in order to actually feel the right muscles then please do so because this is going to help out way more than just going heavier and using all the wrong muscles anyway so if you do all of these things, you're gonna notice a huge difference in the way your legs are gonna look. And trust me, nobody likes skinny legs. So make sure to smash the like button and go grow your legs. That's it for me today, I'm out.